Today I'm going to show you how to make the most iconic French pastry, the famous and delicious mm. macaron. Stay tuned. How was it? Good, but why did you say I? It's Molly doing all the baking. Why Molly? She's a patisserie chef? Yes, but I'm doing the filming, so technically speaking, I'm showing how to make the macarons, right? If it makes you happy. It does, yes. Thank you. I've always wanted to try the most iconic French pastry recipe, which is the macaron. It's a very difficult recipe to get right, but Molly here has promised me that it's not as difficult as I think. She's gonna show us the easy way, so if I can do it, you guys can do it too. For sure. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with a French meringue. Yeah. And this is actually really easy. We're gonna be whipping up egg whites okay. and then adding sugar to it. And we're gonna add our egg whites. These are room temperature to the bowl. So yeah. we're gonna start with like, like a four here. Okay. And we're building this up. So we're gonna build a bubble mass on the bottom. Okay. A bubble mass. A bubble mass. I like that. Once it all looks foamy, then we know that we have a good base for our meringue. Okay. So whenever I teach meringue, or macarons in general, I actually teach three M's. Three M's. M's. I like that. <laughs> the first one, measurements, yeah. which is you want to have really good, accurate measurements. So use a scale if you've got one. Measurement, measurement. Me meringue method. Measurement. We'll get to that yeah. one later. Okay. So you actually have a beautiful foam in have our Have a look bowl. at this. Hello. Look at that. Hey, yeah. Here we go. And we'll just take our time. So by adding it slowly, it's going to allow time to dissolve the sugar and the egg whites. So this is what red food color. This is red. So yeah. if you only add just a little bit, then you're yeah. going to get pink. Okay. okay. So we're just going to add a little pinch there. And our mixture is on for like a KitchenAid to be like a six or anything. Oh, eight. I love that. Yeah. So fun. Wow. So Molly. it should be really nice and thick. Nice point standing up straight. Think like Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou Who? Cindy Lou Who. What's, who's Cindy Lou Who? From um, the movie, like The Grinch. Oh, The Grinch. The the... So okay. for our dry ingredients, we have almond flour and powdered sugar. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's going to mix with the meringue in order to make our cookie. I used to work on a macaron station at a bakery and I would make like 1,000 to 1,500 per day. Wow. And when you're sifting together that much dry ingredients, you kind of figure out ways to make it faster, right? Yeah. You actually want to rub the bottom of the sieve. And yeah. so you can see it's a lot faster. Um, we're going to be also mixing in the powdered sugar too at the same oh. time. <laughs> Does it matter if I'm using my hand for this? No, or totally okay? not. Fourth M. Macaronage. The French like to add age on the end of words yeah. to describe a process. Oh. Actually, so you have like frisage is a process in baking. Okay. And um, this particular process is mixing together the Italian meringue and the dry ingredients. And you're going for a very specific texture. Baking and cooking is the perfect way to learn some new French words, but what I actually need right now is to advance in my German. We're planning a holiday to visit Philip's family and I really want to get to the level where I can listen to the conversations, understand or maybe even join in with a couple of simple phrases. We live in the countryside and traditional language schools are miles away. And as a busy working mom, it's hard to find classes that fit my schedule. But luckily, there's Lingoda, an online learning platform for German, English, French, and Spanish, which also happens to be this week's ad. Lingoda offers classes 24-7 every day of the year with over 1,500 real teachers. They focus on human interaction, allow a maximum of five students per class, so you always have the advantage of a live class combined with the flexibility of an online platform. Ich bin aus Schottland. Schottland? Schottland. Uh, Schottland. Aber ich liebe mit meinen Eltern in Frankreich. And to show you how serious they are about teaching you a new language, they had an amazing idea to offer sprint challenges. For example, if you complete 30 classes each month for two months, you get 100% cash back. It's a lot of work, but imagine your progress. So if you're looking to reach new heights in a foreign language, I highly recommend Lingoda Language Sprint to stay motivated and committed to your goal. Click the link below for more information and to use our code CHATEAU2022 for 20 euros or $25 off your Sprint registration. Just do like a pat in the center. Mm -hmm. And this really is patting out the air. Okay. 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 All right, here we go. So next edition. Yes. And yeah. folding. So the way I do it is like this. I turn it around here. 
then I pack. I don't see, I don't much see of a pack. any. There's yeah. no pack going on then, Philip. I don't know. Come on. I've got to side with Anna on this I'm, one. I'm a gentle person. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not into that. I think Anna had more of a pat, for sure. <laughs> I'm going in with the double pat method. Ooh. But we can go ahead and test it to be sure. So big scoop, turn it to the side, and then we're looking for a ribbon to form. So it's like starting to form yeah. now, but not quite there yet. I'm sorry, guys. Almost there. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Is it? That looks pretty good, yeah. One for you, one for Philip. Okay. So we're gonna open up our bag. All right, we're gonna pull back the top about halfway. Yeah. Okay, and you're just gonna use a pair of scissors, apply pressure, and go around in a circle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a lock. We're gonna hold here, mm -hmm. do a little twist. Oh, uh, we have to hold that. There you go, yep. And then use your thumb or another finger and press that twisted part into the tip. Okay, and this okay. is gonna keep things from coming out until we want them to. Oh, that's a good tip. I love that one. Yeah. And then into the bag and then scrape it on your hand. Mm. Nice. Look at those pro skills. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I think you're enjoying that, Philip. I think too much. So. <laughs> Uh, can I lick this now? <laughs> if you want. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. Okay, perfect. All right, so okay. when you're ready to pipe. Yes, I'm ready to pipe. I was <laughs> never so ready to pipe. You're going to have to untwist it first. Yes. <laughs> it looks like you're doing painting or something. I don't yeah. even know. <laughs> okay. Yes. Straight, okay. Yes. Straight up and down like this. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to aim for the center. We're going to press. I'm gonna do a little swirl on top, okay? Okay. Hang on, hang on. Press, swirl, press, swirl. Press, swirl. Yep. Press. I feel like I should stop swirl. now. Ooh. Press, swirl. Yeah. It doesn't look like yours. Ooh, that one wasn't bad. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, Anna, you've got some competition. Uh oh. He's you've had got practice. Some competition. He's had practice. Look yeah. at that. Not bad. It's not bad, Anna. Okay. So yeah. For a beginner, nipples. <laughs> Fill it. No, that's just a form to your describe. <laughs> well, with, with all your kinky fingers slapping going on before, I think I can say something like this. It I'm wasn't slapping, anything. it was patting. Patting. You <laughs> made it. It's different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit off center. There's it's okay. a little bit of a. It's the first one. It's the all first, right, one. It's the first I have one. one. Well, I did do a class with you, so Just maybe we could true. say I have a little bit of an advantage. Okay, true, true, true. true. Yeah. This is when Ziggy eats too many apples. <laughs> oh, God. Philip! Oh, no. Seriously. Okay, so we're going to hold one end, mm -hmm. and we're going to pat. So what this is doing is it is flattening them a little bit, okay. and it's releasing any air bubbles. I think we could do a little harder. I told you, I'm not into this stuff. <laughs> Go like the total wrong way. <laughs> it's getting there. Alexa, put the timer on oh, for 15 did. minutes. It's good. Stop calling me Alexa. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh wait, so we'll, we'll do Phillips on top. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do yours on the bottom. There we go. Alexa, put the timer on for 12 minutes. Timer's on for 12 minutes. <laughs> Right. Okay, so as these are baking, there's a couple things that we can do. Yeah. First is, we're gonna make our filling. We're gonna do raspberry, Ooh, right? Yeah. So super delicious, raspberry buttercream. And good. the other thing that we can do is, actually open the oven a couple of times. Ah. So this is a really interesting cookie where it helps to release the humidity that is in the oven because macarons, meringues, do not like liquid or moisture, right? That's interesting. So if we open the oven, then it goes out. We have a little macaron sauna for a couple seconds. <laughs> Gets a nice little facial. Little facial. Exactly. And then it's good for our macarons too. So we're gonna take some butter and then we're gonna grab some powdered sugar and we're gonna mix it around until it looks a little bit like mayonnaise. Woohoo! Okay. Open the oven. Time. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh, they look good. Oh, they do look good. Timbera. All right. 
That's raspberry jam in German. It looks good. Because this is made by Philip's mom, and this is like the only bit we have left. We've eaten everything else. Are you sure you want to use it for this? Yes. Okay. I think it's worthy of this. All yeah. right. So you could use any jam, but. Yeah, totally. Ooh, have to try it. Okay. All right, we'll do a little scrapey scrape and then another little mixy mix, and then I think we're ready to put it all together. Good. All right. Time has gone off. Yep. We're gonna do the wiggle test. Ziggy. Ziggy's gonna help us. <laughs> oh, no, Ziggy. <laughs> Ziggy. Up in the oven. Wow. Wow. Dude, they look great. They look amazing. They look so we're going to just touch one on the top. So if it doesn't move, then it's cooked all the way through. Wow. Oh my they God. look so good. They do. So we just left these to cool for how long? Until they're cool. So we left for like, what, 15 minutes? And we came back and somebody's been taste testing them. <laughs> There's some missing. I'm not sure who's the culprit. <laughs> so to match them up, you're looking for two that are about the same size, and you're looking for them to match up perfectly to make a nice little sandwich cookie. You see how cute that looks? And you don't go right to the edge, you're just getting sort of... Yeah, because when you press it, yeah. this is gonna go to the sides there. And we're gonna put some jam on the center. So this is just holding that jam in. In terms of typical fillings that you can see for macarons, you have like lemon curd, different fruit curds. Jam is very traditional as well. Um, so you've got lots of options. So it's really fun to learn like this base shell recipe yeah. and then you can change it up. Nice! It's not very circular, but... Totally works. Is it okay? Oh, it looks great. All right. All right. That looks really good. All right, I'm nice. getting the hang of it now. Um, or you can just use a little spoon and we're adding a little dollop in the center there. So you're gonna have even more flavor coming through, mm. which makes it so good. So a lot of people put these together on the countertop. They're pretty fragile. Yeah. So you wanna just take the time, you've put out all this effort anyways to put them together really nicely. So we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna use two or three fingers and we just kind of wiggle back and forth. Oh yeah, shanking. I like that. I like it with I the I think filling. it looks really cute it's like more that. more of a sandwich now. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> and then I want to eat it. <laughs> I know. I'm going to show you how to accelerate the process. You can go twice as fast if you use two at the same time. Obviously you need to be careful and skilled. You do realize that you just took two random lids. It's a design statement. And it's easier to eat. Because it's, it's, you know, I think I just reinvented the macaron. Beautiful. Is that the same size? Yeah, that's the same size. Why didn't you make them all the size I made them? Oh, that is also not the same size. I'm sorry, I broke it. What? Why are you looking at me like this? I'm giving my best. I'm shaking. Well, I feel like for macaron, you're going for uniformity. Yeah. And um, not quite seeing that <laughs> with this one. With the broken, Here. cracked, it's... wonky <laughs> macaron. A modern twist on the macaron. I see. Yeah. But Lily, what do you think yeah. of the macaron that we made? Can I try one? What do you think? You want to try one? Yeah. Mm. Mm? Is that good? Mm? Yeah. Love it. Yay. Love it. If you have a look at these, would you be able to tell which one Papa made? And which one Mama made? Which one Molly made? Which one Papa made this one? Which one? Show sure again. Why? Why are you saying that? Because Papa breaks everything. Oh! <laughs> no, no, that's I not for you. Place. No, yeah. hands off. We can have it if you want. No, that's too cute. <laughs> so I hope everybody has seen that it is not as hard as it looks and you can give it a go as well. So if somebody at home wants to have a go, how do they find the recipe? The recipe is in my cookbook. French pastry made simple. I also have a macro and ebook on my website. Amazing. So it's mollyjwilk.com. And then if you want to join me virtually on Zoom, you can make them with me at I've the same that. time. I've done yeah. that and I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And join a virtual class. Yeah. We're gonna link to all of these in the description of the video down below. Thank you so much, Molly. This is so much fun. Oh my God, it was so much fun. <laughs> and now I'm very excited because look. We're gonna go eat them all. Yeah, let's go and have a glass of champagne and eat our Michael. Sounds perfect. Happy baking, everyone. Happy baking. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. 
for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.